65. There you go, guys. You heard it here first. Page 65. Bam. I hope you guys are doing great today. Uh, we're on 2-9. So, guys, uh, I know 2-9 not the easiest thing in the world. Uh, you just got you just got to work through it for me here, okay? Uh, let's come up with some good definitions and or examples. Look, if you don't know how to make a, defini a definition of this word, look over here, okay? Uh, slope. Right? Slope. What is the definition of slope? Slope. Like this. Mm -hmm. Like my tie. See how it's kind of... Huh. Yep. So the steepness, guys, of, of a line, right? It is also known as letter M. It is also known as rise over run. Okay? Or Y minus Y over X minus X. Any of those... Um, Right? Any of those three things there, we, we got to know, okay? Yes. So in this equation, y equals 2x plus 4, we have to be able to identify the slope from that equation, 2, right? Because that's where the m would be. Okay. Moving on. Y-intercept. Why I got to do both of these for the y-intercept? That don't seem fair. Um, okay. Y-intercept is... Uh, the number, right, that I'll just say the line crosses the y-axis at, okay? It is, it is also referred to, right, as your starting quantity, your initial value, and each. I know there's a lot there. Look, Mr. Noel, there's a lot to talk about the y-intercept for. Um, if we were to give you an example, so guys, I will draw a graph, and I will say here is my line, right? And then this is the ordered pair zero four, right? And four is my y-intercept. Okay. That's Linear. a good example. I like that. Yeah, that's a great example. Uh, linear equation. Ooh. Um, so guys, our linear equation uh, just represents, it is a, uh, I don't really know, this is a two variable equation. Um, when graphed, it's a straight line. Guys, have we ever seen anything not graph to a straight line? No. no. And and we won't in eighth grade. Okay. So it's a well, two we'll variable. We'll see some nonlinear situations. Yeah, we might see some of that. Okay. Yeah. But we've got our two variables, guys, x and y. Yeah. On a graph, it graphs to a straight line, and that's really all you need to know right now about a linear equation. Okay. Um, we got a couple more to what do here. here? Alrighty. Slope intercept form. Slope intercept form. Right? So this one says slope intercept form of a linear equation is this y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y intercept. Um, if we were going to write something in slope intercept form, guys, uh, how about this? y equals 1 fourth x minus 10. That's, that's in slope intercept form. That's in slope intercept form, yes. Nice yes. Job. There are other forms you don't have to worry about. Um, we could do more examples, but I think you understand it. Again, folks, we got to know one-fourth is the slope. Negative, negative 10 is the y-intercept. Okay? Linear equation of a proportional relationship. So a linear equation, guys, of a proportional relationship is like half of our slope-intercept form, guys. So this is, um, I'll just say it will be in the form y equals mx, right? What does it do that's special? It goes through the origin. Always, okay? And once again, this is also a straight line, okay? You can add that on there if you'd like. They give us a few examples. Over here, y equals 8x and y equals negative 15x. Again, we got to be able to recognize the slope 
8 and negative 15 from those equations, okay? So guys, hey, uh, we're going to get back into it today. So more additional practice. Uh, may or may not get into the math Excel, all right? But there is, uh, there's lots to graph, lots to identify from here. So good luck.